Well, hello there. As we go further into circles, it is very interesting. This first question is a, uh, uh, a computational question of converting units. It is not very challenging. You can do it. The second question is about, um, it's actually kind of a weird problem. It's about midnight and the minute hand and the hour hand are pointing straight up. But there's another time when they line up that's going to happen fairly shortly. And I wonder, um, is it before or after one o'clock? And, and can you calculate it like mathy wise rather than just saying, oh, it's a little bit before or after one o'clock. Okay, so uh, see if you can be careful with this um, and use omega, etc. Why does mud hit my back when I'm biking through it? If you've biked, you will notice that this happens. That doesn't make any sense because that means that I'm going forward at some speed V, but it must be going even faster than that if it's catching up from me, catching up with me from behind and hitting my back. And this is very annoying. It doesn't happen at very low speeds, and maybe we can begin to understand that now using equations. I'm looking for like a paragraph explanation that has equations within it as well. Um, question four is about my turntable, and it uh, is direct drive, so it's not a belt drive. They've got a very powerful motor on the, um, actually on the axis of the turntable that can get it up to speed in less than one second. So you're looking for the total vector acceleration of a speck of dust on the outside of a 12-inch record exactly half of the time that it's spent speeding up. So you can make some cool simplifications if it's half of the time. But the other thing I want you to note is that we're going to assume that the acceleration is steady during this 0.7 seconds so that we can know some things about what's happening at half of the time. All right, and the fifth and final question is about a spaceship that is spinning on an axis like this to generate artificial gravity. That spaceship is spinning and will generate 9.81 meters per second squared because you humans are used to that sort of thing. I mean, us humans, we humans are used to that sort of thing. If you climb up, though, into level two of the spaceship, it's just four meters closer to the center, but that will actually change the apparent gravitational uh, field. And, and that's one of the ways that you can know if you're in a gravitational field versus an accelerated reference frame because um, the gravitational field won't change in the same way with height. Uh, anyway, do the calculation and um, maybe you'll find it interesting. So if you have any concerns with the problems, you can find my answers linked in the uh, description of the video. And um, if you're having a good time, it would really help me if you would like this uh, and the solution videos because I'm kind of feeling tired. This is hard work. Thank you. Send me money. That is all.